Each year, the Interborough staff convenes a scholarship committee to evaluate our senior student scholarship applications. All seniors complete a self-nomination form to apply to the many generous grants and awards that are offered by our donors. Some seniors complete additional applications or write essays specific to the awards and scholarships for which they are qualified. In some cases, our donors select the recipients for their awards based on their awards criteria. In other cases, our scholarship committee selects recipients. The committee evaluates all aspects of our student submissions before coming to a consensus about which students best meet the qualifications for each award. Traditionally, we begin this eagerly anticipated part of the program with the introduction of scholarships and awards that are being presented for the first time. I am pleased to announce that we have a few new scholarships that are being awarded tonight. The Sam Collins and Memorial Scholarship, the Bill Pullman Scholarship, the Interborough High School Life Skills Inclusion Award, the O'Neill Spotlight Award, the Frank Parker Excellence in Performing Arts Scholarship, the Interboro Alumni Association, Mr. Mobley Spirit of the Match Award, the Interboro Alumni Association Scholar Award. I would also like to thank all the continuing donors and organizations that give awards and scholarships each and every year. Our first awards this evening recognize students who have excelled academically. We will now introduce the winners of the Ed Bonnichuk Excellence at Buck Pride Scholarships. Mr. Bonnichuk is an alumnus of Interboro High School who makes an annual donation that helps us recognize a large number of students. We are thrilled to announce that Mr. Bonnichuk is contributing his annual donation of $25,000 in 2022, making it the 20th consecutive year of this scholarship. His personal cumulative contributions amount to $500,000. Mr. Bonnichuk is very happy to get back to his alma mater and hopes that the funds of this scholarship help those students get started in the next phase of their lives, be it college or university, a technology school, or directly into employment. The following students being recognized will also receive a $1,000 scholarship, and here are the students who are ranked number 1 through 20 in the class of 2022. First, McKenna Gallagher. Michelle Lang. Joshua Pitts. Matthew and Matthew. Lane Johnson. Julian Miller. Penny Lewis.
Eric Barr Awards. CEO Eric Barr is a member of our Interborough Hall of Fame. Mr. Barr passed away in 2007. However, we are still able to recognize students in his memory. The first set of names are students ranked number 25, or 21, sorry, through 25 in the class of 2022, and will be receiving a $500 scholarship. Kylie Simonera. <laughs> Sophia Escher. Nathan Chidester. <laughs> Emma Donnelly. <laughs> Following students will also be received the receive the Yard Bar Award for being ranked 26 through 30 in the class of 2022. They will be receiving a $250 award. Zoe has told. <laughs> Angelina Benham. <laughs> Sarah Mann. <laughs> Shauna Randall. <laughs> Sabina Kokaj. The Arthur R. and Ethel H. Bar Height Scholarship Fund was established in 1985 to recognize seniors in Tiffin Township, Delaware County, who intend to become teachers. A renewable scholarship, the Bar Height Scholarship, is $1,000 per year for four years. It is presented to Elizabeth Rodemacher. <laughs> and Katie Redshaw. The Agnes Montemurro Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given by the legendary Interborough School District Elementary School teacher to support and recognize a student who will attend Westchester University. The scholarship is directly applied to the student's financial aid, financial aid package at Westchester. The 2022 recipient is Victor Quintiliano. Excellence in Mathematics Award is given by Dana Kahn, a former Interboro High School mathematics teacher. The recipient of this award has shown excellence in math throughout his or her high school career. The winner is Freddie Abu. The Ellis Morning Award for $1,000 is presented by valedictorian Sean Ellis and his wife, who is the salutatorian, Kelly Morley, to a high achieving student who is also involved in leadership capacity in student activities and athletics and will pursue engineering, science, finance, or accounting. This year's recipient is Victoria Conrad. The Class of 2012 Scholarship is awarded to a senior who is a well-rounded individual, excelling in academics, leadership, athletics, and the arts, just like the members of the graduating class I sponsored a decade ago. This year's recipient is ranked within the top 5%, a leader on the volleyball and basketball courts, a Philadelphia Independence Award nominee for her light and design for the spring musical, and president of her class. It is my privilege to give this year's Class of 2012 scholarship to Emily Krasinski.
class of 2015 scholarship is awarded to a student who displays much pride and excellence both in the classroom and in class congress. The recipient has maintained a balance between academics and extracurricular activities and has gone above and beyond what is necessary to make a class congress a success. This is the student who shows up early, leaves last, and always comes through with you. This year's recipient is Elaine Droxler. representing the district's talented teaching staff presents two $1,500 awards to two students who will pursue a career in education and who are selected through an essay competition. This year's Innerborough Education Association Award winners are Elizabeth Rodhocker. <laughs> Allison Green. scholarships. This year's recipients are Ali Marola. <laughs> Jeffrey Dixon. This year's recipients are Grace Hughes, Nathaniel Chipping, Please welcome Mrs. Noel Ackle to present our next award, the Marion Schaller Advanced Placement English Award. The Marion Schaller Advanced Placement English Award for $500 is given by retired AP English teacher Marianne Schaller to a student who exhibits a love for literature and possesses superior talents in writing. As the current AP English teacher, I am thrilled to present this scholarship to Jade Lynn Miller. Congratulations goes to Victoria Conrad for this year's work. The Biotech Catholic Society is the oldest academic honor society in the United States. Each year presents a book to a high achieving high school graduate who has served with integrity. This year, Biotech Catholic awards. Finding the Mother of Tree, Discovering the Wisdom of the Forest by Suzanne Samar to Jane Miller. Way to go, kiddo. 
He loved singing, entertaining our families at parties, and could play a multitude of instruments, including the piano, harmonica, accordion, and guitar. He was a Navy veteran who participated in the Allied invasion of Normandy in Operation Overlord during World War II. My father would have been very honored to know this scholarship is being awarded to a senior, to a senior who shares his love of music and has exhibited outstanding leadership skills. This student has participated in choir for four years and selected for the PNBA District 12 concert. I'm proud to award this scholarship to Jada Litter. The Jerry T. Livingston Memorial Termite Scholarships are $500 awards given in the memory of Prospect Park Termite Coach, Coach Jerry Livingston, to a termite and IHS football player. Coach Jerry passed away in July 2010. He coached ninth grade football for one year and 10 years of wrestling here at IHS, his alma mater. Jerry's love for the game of football led him to coach for the Prospect Park Termites. After coaching many teams at different levels, he became head coach of the 135-pound team, where he remained for 11 years up to the time of his death. He instilled in his players a sense of pride, toughness, dedication, passion, and camaraderie, characteristics describing a Robert Bucks football player. This year's recipients are Robert Forbes, Hayden Walsh, Brady Powell, and William Powell. Matthew DeSands Memorial Scholarship celebrates Matthew DeSands. Matthew was a three-year starter for Edinburgh football. He graduated in 2017. On the field, he was known for his hard work and toughness. Sadly, Matthew passed away in July 11, 2019. This scholarship is for a football player who shared Matthew's work ethic and effort on the field. The 2022 Matthew DeSands Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Brady Hummel. Established this scholarship in my daughter's name since the Interbury Theater Department, headed by Ms. Knauss, Ms. Odin, and Ms. Atkin, played a very pivotal role in Fran's life. And for that, I'd like to say thank you. Fran <laughs> lived and breathed in theater, so much so that she was never home, and I can always find her here at the school with her theater family. The bond that these students encounter when choosing to become part of the theater program here in Edinburgh is something truly extraordinary to watch, which is why I was moved to set up a scholarship fund in my daughter's name. I highly recommend any student looking to be part of something great to join theater. I promise you the time spent and the friends you'll meet is something that will make memories for a lifetime. I have to be honest that it was even hard for me to say goodbye to Edinburgh as I will forever miss Fran's high school years and seeing her on stage. But all is not lost for Fran as she now attends University of Maryland, Baltimore County, where she is majoring in 
guested theater. So this scholarship is sort of my way of passing the baton on to the next intergirl lesbian. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to my daughter, Francesca. Yeah. So it is our honor to present this award to this year's recipient, Shelby Thunderbird.
This year's academic scholarship is in memory of Lady Renee K. Eisenhower, a 1992 Edinburgh graduate, Penn State alumnus, and childhood resident of Tinicum Township. This year's recipient was chosen based on their written essay about their vision for the future and how they plan to impact the community. We are proud to present the 2022 Renee K. Eisenhower Academic Scholar in the amount of $5,000 to Jada Little. You should be proud of your accomplishments. This year's students were asked to submit an essay on how they plan to pay for college. The winning recipients are Jacob McKinn, This year's recipient is Haley Howard. <laughs> so Mr. Chip Ridwood to introduce the Theodore and Dorothy Robinson Memorial Scholarship. On the merits of their years of serving the community in Prospect Park. The next year, the Theodore and Dorothy Robinson Memorial Scholarship was created by the Robinson and Ridewood families uh, to recognize a student whose life has been impacted by their willingness to volunteer for service to their community, church, or country. This year's uh, winner won a, wrote a wonderful essay describing numerous service opportunities. They've taken it both close to home and far away, and the impact that service has had on them. I'm going to read a sentence or two from their essay. Uh, to be able to see my actions leave such a positive, lasting impression on another person is amazing to me. A lot of the time, I don't get to meet the people that I'm helping. A lot of it is just anonymous work. However, I've been able to meet some of the people I've directly helped be able to speak to these people and physically see the impact I have had in their lives has totally inspired me to want to do more. The Ridewood and Robinson families are pleased to award a $1,000 scholarship to Elaine Dropson.
and in her alone created the Felicia Lauer Memorial Scholarship Award in memory of her dear friend, Felicia Lauer, and is pleased to award $500 to Benjamin Atkins. This year, we're excited to announce two new awards from the Inver Alumni Association. The first award is the Inver Alumni Association Mr. Mobley Spirit of the Match Award. This, this award represents the spirit and dedication that Mr. Mobley has shared with the Inver School community for over 50 years. The Alumni Association is happy to sponsor this award in his name. This award is presented to a student athlete who excels in his or her sport and demonstrates excellence and bump pride in honor of Mr. Mobley, who is truly Interverse number one fan. This year's $500 scholarship award is presented to Dominic D'Agostino.
annual Jake Cleaver Memorial Scholarship is given in honor of Dane Cleaver, a 2009 graduate of Interborough High School. While in high school, Danny was extremely involved in many extracurricular activities, including student council, class congress, Spanish club, and soccer. He was a great student who always went above and beyond to help his classmates and teachers. He loved the Interborough School District with all his heart. This scholarship was set up by his friends and family to help graduating seniors continue the legacy of service, leadership, and community pride that Danny Cleaver showed every day of his life. The Daniel J. Cleaver Memorial Scholarship awards scholarships to Interboro High School seniors based on demonstrated academic achievement, leadership skills, service to others, and an expressed interest in pursuing a career in a trade. This year's recipients of the Daniel J. Cleaver Memorial Scholarship are Jacob McCown, Dr. Paulette Bradley Memorial Scholarship for $500 is presented in memory of Dr. Paulette Bradley, who served as the principal of Norwood School for 15 years. Dr. Bradley enjoyed seeing his students, her kids, every day, and was a constant encourager of academic achievement and student growth. The Dr. Paulette Bradley Memorial Award is presented to the Norwood student who has achieved the highest average in the graduating class. The 2022 recipient is Michelle Mann. Francis Costanza Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 award presented by Mr. Andy Costanza in honor of his beloved mother to a well-rounded, solid student who is involved in activities and has a strong interest in the arts. The 2022 award winner is Kara Lee. School Association presents a $250 award to an exemplary level of male and female student. This year's awards are presented to Rebecca Bozak. Demonstrate excellence and luck pride. 
This year's recipients are Jillian Nolan and Yasin Shah.
Johnson Memorial Award is for a Norwood student who has had Mrs. Johnson as their teacher. This year, the Kathy Johnson Memorial Award is granted to Amy Drossler. The John Wesley Cross Post 507 Scholarship is generously donated by our local American Legion. The recipient for this award submitted a written application about the proudest accomplishment and was selected by the members of Post 507. This year's scholarship recipient is Katie Walsh. Making a Difference Award is given by the Delaware County Intermediate Unit to a student who has persevered and overcome challenges to become successful in an inclusive setting. This year's Making a Difference Award goes to Stephen Andrews. The Mrs. Bonner Chuck Memorial Award is presented to two seniors who will be furthering their education at a college, university, or trade school. These students are active members of the Interborough community and demonstrate the necessary qualities needed to become a successful pillar of the community. The 2022 recipients are Edwin Crossley. The Norwood Women's School Association presents a $200 award in honor of Samuel J. McClellan to a Norwood student who exhibits high qualities of scholarship, citizenship, integrity, and service. This year's award is presented to Jacob Finley. The Pete and Nancy Gibson Memorial Award is a $500 award that recognizes a student who has overcome some form of adversity during his or her high school years. This award is a continuation of the award given by the class of 1972 and is presented in honor of our former high school principal, Mr. Paul Gibson's parents. The award for 2022 is given to Issa Harani. The Prospect Park Pride Awards are two $100 awards presented to residents of Prospect Park who are good citizens of the high school and community. Mayor Jeff Harris would like to share this message with the award winners. On behalf of myself and Prospect Park Borough Council, we would like to congratulate you on being selected for the Prospect Park Pride Award Scholarship. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. This year's recipients of the Prospect Park Pride Awards are Miranda Neal. The Prospect Park Youth Club Richard A. Walk Scholarship is presented to a graduating senior who maintains a GPA of 3.0 or higher, plans to further his or her education, and has been a member of the Prospect Park Youth Club for seven or more years. 
This year's recipient of the $200 award is Connor Brooks. This award recognizes a student who has a strong work ethic and commitment to a job well done. Honoring Mr. Lawrence's ability to fix or build anything he put his mind to, this scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who is intending to go into a skills trade, skilled trades career. This year's recipient is Stephen Andrews. It is my honor to announce the Sam Collington Memorial Scholarship. The Collington family wishes to pay for the generous donations given at the time of Sam's passing. Beginning with the class of 2022 and continuing for 25 years through the class of 2046, the Interboro Education Foundation will coordinate the Sam Collington Memorial Scholarship. Annually, one $1,000 scholarship will be awarded to the recipient who, like Sam, is one of a kind, charismatic, a leader, and civic minded. Please welcome the Collington family, Dennis, Molly, and Bailey, who are here to present this year's award. Good evening, my name is Bailey Collington, and I am Sam Collington's sister. Sam was a graduate of the class of 2018. He was class president, among many other activities he participated in here at Edinburgh. He or orchestrated a school-wide walkout in honor of the lives lost in the Parkland school shooting. He worked with the extended school year students in the summer before his senior year, and he did many other countless things to make a name for himself during his time here in Edinburgh. In his time here, Sam loved Edinburgh, and the outpouring of support after his death proved that Edinburgh loved, his, loved him back. To give you a grasp of this, for those of you who did not know him, I turned to his yearbook to look at some of the things his classmates and teachers said about him. The results yielded were interesting. People wrote of his constant classroom participation, teachers telling him he was one of a kind and would stop arguing with them so much, <laughs> and many, many wrote in more profane terms than this that he was very, very funny. All this and countless, I hope to see you as president one day, and I can't wait to vote for you one day. Which gets to the core of what this scholarship is about. Sam Collington was civic-minded, an advocate, and someone who made it clear that he was going to lead a life of activism. Sam Collington could have been an academic bolstered by the books on his shelves, like the Federalist Papers, the writings of Marx and Engels, and the other brick-sized books that I'm sure he found very tiddly. But Sam did not want this life for himself. He wanted to be on the ground floor enacting change rather than just writing about what needed to be changed. He was a political science major at Temple University with a minor in philosophy. He was known around campus as Polly Sizing. Mere months ago, he had been looking at law schools for his postgraduate plans. He canvassed for many politicians and went to many protests for causes that were often swept under the rug because no cause was too small for Sam's brand of activism. He would often text my mom things like, I got 20 people on campus registered to vote today, things like that. Sam was killed in an act of gun violence late last year. The support of the community on our time of grieving has been great, and many gave charitable, charitable donations to our family following his death. The funds from these donations were used to make the Sam Collington Memorial Scholarship, which seeks to recognize and reward a student who is civilly civic-minded. It is our hope that with the funds from this scholarship, the recipient will make just, just some of the change in our world that we knew Sam wanted to make and would have made. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Sam Collington, and I am the senior class president. 
It is my most esteemed privilege and highest honor to welcome you all to the class of 2018's commencement here at the lovely Newman University. It has been a long four years for my colleagues and I, and yet at the same time, it sure went by fast. Before I begin my long speech, I would like to engage in a brief activity for you, with you. Don't worry, you don't have to stand up or anything like that. Whether you're a student getting a diploma, or you're a parent, or a teacher, or a superintendent, you are here today because someone helped you, someone special. It could be a parent, or a grandparent, or a close friend. It doesn't matter who they are. But I would like everybody to take a brief moment to think about someone who helped you get here today. Just take a moment, I'll keep time. Thank you for doing that. Now let's get into this. We're here to recognize the class of 2018 success in graduating from high school. We all have our own plans. Many of us are going to college or trade schools or the military. It's important to feel a great sense of pride right now. Many people in high school are filled with senses of self-doubt and feelings of dread. But today, it is time to hang your anxiety out to dry and replace it with confidence. People always dismiss high school as easy, but I assure you, everybody in this room has gone through some difficulty in the past four years. And even if that adversity was not school related, it still affected their academic performance to some degree. And that's why I think this kind of ceremony is so important. We aren't here to smile, lie, and pretend that bad things never happened. We're here to put on big smiles because we were able to overcome the sad parts of the past. And that's why I want to take the time to acknowledge the people in the bleachers. To be sure, this is 2018's night, but you were all invited here by a graduate to share their moment of pride. So I hope all of you feel a great sense of pride as well. Thank you for everything you do. Now, I have spent a great many days scouring the internet in search for the right theme of a graduation love and speech. You know, what kind of messages should I convey? Well, the internet was pretty much useless, so this is an idea I came up with one day all on my own. My simple message to everybody today is to pay it forward. We were given an amazing chance here at Interborough. Everybody here had the chance to make their name known. We were all given equal opportunity to make something here. There were so many different events the school has put on that benefit the community, and all of them have different names of different students attached to them. Many found the Special Olympics, the Memorial for the Parkland, Florida students. I could go on and on. The point is, Interboro has done its part to instill a sense of community and common values in us, and our job is to return the favor to future generations. Maybe someday we will be fathers and mothers or uncles and aunts, whatever. But it's important to carry out the tradition of our alma mater and continue to serve our community and teach others the value of service. Like I said, I spent a lot of time on the internet looking for inspiration. And in my search, I came across a quote that is attributed to Abraham Lincoln. It goes, whatever you are, be a good one. I don't really think he said that. Uh, but on the other hand, I still think it's important to bring up a graduation. As you go on to college, to the workforce, whatever you're doing, be the best damn whatever you can be. Shakespeare, Bach, Edison, Rockefeller, they were, someone used the word fanatical. And that's why we spent the last four years talking about them. If you're going to be something, be a fanatic about it. I certainly want a surgeon who is fanatical about surgery operating on me. I feel a lot safer. <coughs> Choose a career you can be passionate about. It will make you feel better about yourself. It will also make you happy, and you will feel like you are living your life to its fullest. Now, before I conclude and introduce the next segment of our program, I'd like to remind you all that no matter where life takes you, you represent Interboro High School, and you should strive to be worthy of that honor. I would also like to part ways with you all with a quote from a great person who passed away recently, Mrs. Barbara Bush. Never lose sight of the fact that the most important yardstick of your success will be how you treat other people, your friends, family, and co-workers, and even strangers you meet along the way. So, before we all go out and climb another mountain, let's enjoy tonight's ceremony. Thank you.
The winner of the 2022 Santa Monica Memorial Scholarship is Grace Keaton. Jones Scholarship for $500 is given to a senior who will continue his or her studies and has shown responsibility, propensity to look out for the underdog, and the capability to stand up for what is right. Scott Gerhardt recognizes that the 2022 recipient of this award, Madison Burke. Supplemented by the Home and School Associations. 
This year, we are able to recognize 10 students who were selected by the scholarship committee for exuding buff practice. Morgan Connell.
Please welcome Ms. Ackman to present this year's English Department. in both AP Lit and AP Lang, while simultaneously acing English courses at Delaware County Community College. She's a conscientious student who is always seeking feedback to improve her skill set. A frequent participator, she was truly a pleasure to have in class. It is my honor to present the 2022 English Key to Lane Drops. Please welcome Mr. Webb to present this year's mathematics department. This year's mathematics department key is the Freddie Abu. Please welcome Mr. Barrett to present this year's physical education. Physical education key goes to someone who has committed themselves to a lifetime of health and physical fitness. And our physical education key this year goes to Jeffrey Dixon.
time, I would like to invite a number of superintendent of schools to spur that project to recognize their salutatory and valedictorian for their outstanding academic achievements. On behalf of the Amber Board of School Directors and Administration, I would like to congratulate all of the award recipients this evening. How about a round of applause? Thank you. 